Hi, I'm Norm Scrimger, Chairman of the Board of Seton Cantata Choir, and I welcome you to our virtual concert. Seton Cantata Choir is a community-based adult choir that performs throughout Nova Scotia. We are a registered charitable society and support student singers through our Choral Scholars Program. Our main source of income is from our concert series, but unfortunately we have been unable to have public performances for over a year. We now rely on the generous donations of our supporters for which we provide tax receipts. To support Seton, please visit our website at seatoncantatachoir.com and look for our donate button. We are also listed under the Canada Help site for charitable donations. Thank you for your support and enjoy the concert. The Cantique de Jean Racine is one of the most beloved and instantly recognizable songs in the whole choral repertoire. Just listening to the introduction fills us with warmth and pleasurable anticipation. Gabriel Faure wrote it in 1865 when he was 19 for a competition at his music school, the Ecole Niedermeyer in Paris, where he had been studying since the age of nine. The text is Jean Racine's version of a section of the Latin breviary. It is a typical hymn, full of elegant and flowery expressions of praise and supplication. Fauré's music lifts it out of the monastery church straight into the human heart. Most people find the song intensely moving without understanding any of the words. I'm not going to translate it for you. I hope you enjoy it.
Choral singing during a pandemic presents some unique challenges. It is much harder to attain an ideal blend of voices when we are separated from each other by a distance of two meters. Equally difficult is the requirement to wear the singer's masks, which not only feel awkward and uncomfortable, but they also alter our perception of the sound we make. They need some getting used to. On a more personal note, it is the lack of an audience with whom we share our music and whose reaction we sense. And so we work to visualize our audience because it is to you that we offer our gift of music. There are two selections in our program that touch me as being appropriate for the times. The Robert Burns poem set to music, A Red Red Rose, is a song of loss and separation, but ends in a message of hope and optimism. Sing Gently is a new work by Eric Whitaker in response to the COVID crisis. To me, it describes the beauty in working together, always mindful of the others around us. Eric Whitaker's Sing Gently was written to breach the isolation we all experienced last spring. Its purpose was to bring choristers together to sing as one. I was thrilled to join my voice with 17,000 other choristers to sing the virtual performance. I was even more excited to sing it in person with my Seton friends. Now for you, Eric Whitaker's Sing Gently. The first Mulholland song, To a Red Red Rose, uses the Robbie Burns poem of the same name. 
The poem explores the many kinds of love, from the fleeting, like a rose that will soon die, or a melody that disappears once it is sung, to the long-lasting, till the seas go dry, till the sun melts rocks. And there is love that will be felt over a distance of 10,000 miles. Finally, love will always cause the lover to return to his loved one. The other Mulholland song, Highland Mary, refers to Burns' brief affair with Mary Campbell during the late 1780s. One source says that Mary was born in Dunoon, Scotland, in 1763. The words of the song describe Burns' affection for Mary, his separation from her at Montgomery Castle, his melancholy at her death, and his continued memory of her.
Turn, Turn, Turn was written by the well-known American folk singer Pete Seeger, who throughout his life used his music to campaign for justice and peace. It was conceived in the 1950s during the height of the Cold War and under the threat of nuclear arms. Seeger took the bulk of the text from Ecclesiastes, adding only the recurring three title words and the hopeful last line, I swear it's not too late. The song reached a fresh audience later as a folk rock anthem and has since taken on another life as a favorite in weddings and funerals. It still retains its powerful and poignant message.